What's up people? Good day, good morning, good evening. How are we all doing today? So today's daily verse is Luke 16, 10 to 12, and I'm reading from the NLT, otherwise known as the New Living Translation, and it reads, If you are faithful in little things, you will be faithful in large ones. But if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. And if you are untrustworthy about worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven? And if you are not faithful with other people's things, why should you be trusted with things of your own? So let's think about that for one second and then let that ruminate in your mind for a little bit. So, what the scripture is saying, it's saying, it's talking about and it's saying about being faithful with, with humble beginnings and being good stewards. And uh, anyone who's well into the Bible will know and uh, well into church and well into like, uh, like Pentecostal or, or charismatic belief systems will know about the law of stewardship. And the law of stewardship is basically as follows. You don't own anything on earth, it's all temporary. And really, you've been given you know, all these things by God. And then therefore, you have a responsibility to steward these things you've been given by God in a positive way, in order to serve God and to love our fellow man as ourself. And then whenever we're dishonest with these things, with what we've been given, no matter how small or great, you know, the blessings we've been given, we could have been born into a rich family, a poor family, or anywhere in between, whatever we have, we have to serve God with. And if we're not honest with these things, what happens? We start sowing and reaping negativity upon ourselves. And that, that, that doesn't necessarily mean we'll have our wealth taken away or what we've been given taken away. But ultimately, when we're not serving God with these things, if we're not stewarding things correctly, we won't ever go to another level with the things we have. So we won't ever gain more. And, and what we have will only ever bring destruction on us. So you'll see it a lot with like uh, these evil, like these millionaires, obviously not everyone who's rich is evil, but these people that use their wealth for evil reasons, you'll find they just walk into calamity after calamity and disaster after disaster, and basically their wealth will destroy them. Maybe their family leaves, they end up depressed, full of anxiety on drugs. You know, you see it with celebrities all the time. It's because they're using their wealth for negative reasons. So therefore they just reap negativity on themselves through whatever sin or, or evil desire of their heart or temptation they're fallen for. It will bring destruction on them through that through that means of that route, you know? But if we are honest with, with what we've been given, no matter how big or how small, God will promote us into handling bigger and bigger blessings, bigger and bigger finances, uh, bigger and bigger responsibilities, power, any, 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 all, these, all these worldly things, because he knows and understands that we'll be able to use this, uh, this point of influence in order to build his kingdom and to build others, in order to love, love him and love others as, as we love ourselves. So that's an important thing just as we go forward in this scripture. So it says, if you are faithful in little things, you'll be faithful in large ones. But if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. So that, yes, that's just like, you know, that's just very simple. You have, you have to serve in excellence, no matter what you have, you know, whatever. Do not despise humble beginnings. That's what the Bible says. And uh, sometimes, you know, you will see, I've seen in my life at least, I've worked all different kind of menial jobs and these kind of things. And uh, I'm actually like a, like a quite a very trained like kitchen staff member. So I've worked in a lot of different types of kitchens and uh, from fast food to restaurant to hotel and back again. I've seen a lot of things and, and, and one, one thing I learned through my work is to remain humble and always work diligently in excellence because when you work in excellence you show as I was saying you show that you're a faithful steward with what you have and then when you show you know you, you, you're a faithful steward with what you have people give you more responsibilities you see your rage increase you see your influence increase and ultimately you're, you're basically the example of your good work your good character your moral standing but we learn through the word of God and through our stewardship of what we have, it inspires others. It can also evangelize and bring others to Christ. Um, and like, as well as this, it, it grows your own life, your own career, and your own prospects here on earth. And there's nothing wrong with wanting like, you know, a better life on earth, as long as we serve the kingdom first. And that's what we should be doing at our job. We should be serving the kingdom first. And we should remember, like, even though it's a menial job and these kind of things, really, while we're working this job, we're actually serving the Lord. Why? Because all responsibility is given by the Lord. Whether your manager knows it, whether your boss, the CEO of your company knows it or not, they've been given 
They've been given the things they have, the blessings they have, by God. You know, all responsibility is given by God. And it's so one day they'll have to answer for the poor stewardship of the blessings they've been given and for the reason why they didn't come to him or they didn't believe in, in Christianity and this and that. But ultimately, just remember that you're, when you serve at work, you're, you're your boss, serve your boss as if you're serving God because ultimately all responsibility comes from God. Yeah? And uh, often at times you'll see people, you know, in the workplace, uh, they'll be like, ah, oh, this job is only this, this job is only that. But, and then they don't care about their work, they don't care about how their, how their work is going, if it's good or bad and that. And then you will see these people, they never progress. They never change, they always remain the same. They're not diligently seeking excellence, they're not sowing positive seeds. Therefore, they don't, they don't bring about and manifest a positive future in their life. You know, so you've got to keep, you've got to keep your mind on excellence at all times. So it says, you won't be, di but if, sorry, if, but if you are dishonest in little things, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. So be honest in the little things and you'll be promoted and given greater responsibilities. It's very simple. And if you are untrustworthy about worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven? So with the wealth we got, it could be small, it could be big. We must, we must be deemed trustworthy by God with the things we got. And that means spending them to help others. It means investing in our ministries, in our churches, in helping the poor, in each other, in helping our fellow believers. It, it means using our wealth, our material gains in order to give back, in order for a means to progress the kingdom and to love our neighbor as ourselves. And if, if yeah, we are untrustworthy with this worldly wealth, how do we expect the riches of heaven in our life? How can God trust us with the greater riches, the eternal riches, and riches that last into the next life if we can't be trusted with what's here today and gone tomorrow. Because when we're being greedy, when we're acting like this around money, in reality, we're just fighting, squabbling, being greedy, getting jealous to other people about things that are perishing. Everything in this world is going to be gone and dust. 200, 300 years time, most of us, no one will know our names, will know that we even existed, and all the places we live will be rubble and dust, you know? And all these, all these things we fought over will be worth nothing, zilch. But those who have put their mind on the kingdom and sowing seeds for it last into eternity, they're going to have true riches in this time period. Whereas, we, whereas if you don't, you don't do these things, you're going to be very sorry. There's going to be a loss of rewards. And if you are not faithful with other people's things, why should you be trusted with things of your own? So sometimes you'll be given, you know, like you'll be given the chance to manage other people's finances, businesses. You know, you'll be given you'll be given a chance to look after the blessings of other people. And if you're not faithful with these things, how is God gonna like trust you with things of your own? Because often God will give us, you know, think other people's things, belongings to look after as a means to test us and test how we respond and test how we can handle these kind of things. And if God sees we can't handle these things correctly, then we're not gonna be blessed with any more than what we got in our own personal lives. So in all these things, yeah, going forward from today, if, be faithful in everything you have, in the blessings you have, and never take it for granted. But being faithful is being thankful. And we need to be thankful for everything we got, no matter how big or how small. And understand that if we serve faithfully in excellence, what appears small today will be bigger tomorrow, yeah? So going forward today, let's keep thankful for what we have and use it to serve in excellence and never take it for granted. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day today. Peace. Thank God it's Sunday, I've had to get on my line That's just what the enemy do Big bro told me, pat my mind That's just what the fellowship do Free up all of my guys from sin That's only what Christ can do Enemy try and hit me with a lie That's just what the enemy do But the enemy was born to lose We were born to conquer He made my feet like the feet of a deer That's why I got an air sponsor